What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do curves in Revit and hopefully your projects can start to look like this in no time. So with Revit, it doesn't come with its own curb, so we are going to have to create our own. So to do that, I'm going to open up my new project. We go File, New, Family, and now we're going to scroll down and just go to Profile. So this is where we are going to do our curb. So we're just going to draw it however you like. I'm just going to roughly, roughly fill this in. So it's usually about six inches uh, like this. And then I'm going to do the gutter as well. And let's just bring this across. Okay, so do something like that. Um, obviously, it's a little rough. We could probably make it a little bit more accurate by doing this and trim. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so now we want to put it into our project. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to just save changes to family three. So just make sure we remember what it's called. I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Okay, so the thing to remember with curbs is you cannot place it on pads or any site element. So you have to use flooring. So flooring, you know, we could have a, our four inch depth concrete. So I'm just gonna do four inches there and call it good for now. Um, so you have to place it in 3D. So how we're gonna do this is, now that we've got our profile, if we go to floor and scroll down to slab edge, uh, we can see the default slab edge that comes in. So we're gonna want to duplicate this and then apply the correct profile to it. So I'm just gonna name it curb. It's already in use, that's fine. Uh, I already made this before, but just make sure you go to profile and family three is the one that we, we did. So we're going to apply that profile. We're going to click OK. So we've got this selected and now these lines should show up and boom. So we can do this however many times we want. Um, if it doesn't quite line up with your floor, uh, like for me, I had a foot. so my vertical offset would probably be, um, yeah, that's right, six inches. So that worked out, out pretty well. Um, it gets a little dicey with uh, elevation changes, but this works 99% of the time. Hope you guys enjoyed this really short video. Um, I'm gonna be going into more Revit videos in the near future, so make sure you subscribe. Me.